definitely in position to attack this front left pin. Happily reunited with his clubs. Apparently, one of the airlines lost five suitcases, two sets of clubs on the way back from the United States. They only arrived yesterday. Like he's already birded the first par five to 30, had that to birdie both par fives on the front nine. Torbjorn Olison on the ninth tee. At the ninth, the wind's dropped a fraction, so not as hard off the right. Torbjorn Olison up at nine. He's obviously just pushed a little bit, but he, he's pretty confident he can get there. He should be using the wind off the right, I would imagine. Oh, probably just a club short. We've seen a couple this morning that have both come up a club short. You just hold it a little bit up at the right, and it just floats that little bit, and it just costs you maybe five or ten yards. Back to Torbjorn at nine. That's not pretty. Oh, he's done well here. What a shot that is. That'll be one of the shots of the day from Torbjorn Olison. Wind's down off the right at the 10th. He's trying to get a draw with the wind. Oh, he's missed that well right. It'll be interesting to see where he drops that. We can just see on the left of the screen there, there's, there's a drop zone there, Graham. It'll be interesting to see whether, because almost he'll be coming nearer to the hole. He gets to drop it and then place it onto a nice lie. Straightforward chip and run down the green. Just let the slope take the ball down to the hole. Just got to make sure that he keeps on his all his weight on his left hand side and gets the right connection with the club and ball. Well, he just made a marvellous up and down on the previous hole. It looks like he's going to make a good one here. Uh, let's tap in for his part, another good up and down. Always difficult to drive it downhill into the wind when it's as strong as this. Yeah. I do enjoy watching Torby on the London based Dane play as well as he does. He's got a beautiful rhythmical swing, Graham, hasn't he? Well, who's playing in his 600 event on the European Tour this week. No doubt we will. There we see that big rock on the left, Warren, that will blind your view of that left front left of the green. We'll put that there. <laughs> I think it's been there for a few million years. I would say so. It's got to feel like it's holding on to it, you know, and end of the day it's about controlling your hands if you're putting nice comeback par part there for Torbjorn just looking to try and learn move from left to right ah. he's been really unlucky he's hit Martin Kemmer's golf bag I think as he finished on the downslope, I think. That's a beautifully played shot. Tickles that one down to a kicking distance. Another example of how good Torbjorn's short game is. That'll come in handy in September in, in France. God, he's playing rights back. He's taken advantage this time as Olison makes his birdie. The wind at the 13th is down off the left. And 145 metres with the down slope, so I'm just looking to hit maybe a 9 iron. Just had that imperceptible pause at the top of his swing there, just had time to make that transition down. Nice smooth transition there and a good shot. 
for two in a row. Got it. Well done, Torby Nollison. So he also moves under par. Pretty good crystal ball that from Graham too. Uh, going right, you can see the marshal indicating that behind Ullison. Down in Kaima country. Oh, wow. And he really could have tree trouble down there. Well, let's have a look at what's going on with Torbjorn first. Graham's down there, trying to find, they think it might have gone down a rabbit hole. Well, the thing is, you've got to find the ball, unless someone's seen it go down there, and they're absolutely convinced. Well, Ollison's taken his drop. He's taken his drop. I'm not too sure whether he got a good lie after he dropped it and whether it's the tree's now in the way. He's got 97 metres. I might have to try and shave it from left to right. Try and get the control, the favour of... eulogising about his short game prowess a little while back that's certainly not one of his best and work also for Ullison here at 14 par putt right to left slightly downhill as well oh power lip out over to Torbjorn at 15. Had a look at this pin this morning. This is a tight pin on the right. If you get this pin high, you probably almost hit the wrong club because there are some rocks down the down the left-hand side. That actually could be very good. Oh, it's just stopped. But it's a tight, tight pin. It's a difficult par three. There's a huge ridge on the right there, and that will give him a testing pitch across that green. By all accounts, he had his son Lucas on the bag, and he, he had a lovely week. Played very well. Finished just outside the top ten, if I remember. My goodness yeah. me, that one dug its toes in very smartly, didn't it? Maybe looking to try and stop the rot by saving his par. That's exactly what he's done, and that's why he's high up the race to Dubai. Inside the top 50 of the world rankings, 41st these days for Erlison. A very good par he's made there. Olsen going with the driver, looking to try and reach the green at 16. Oh! Oh! Looking a bit anxiously at that. It's got a lovely look at this pin. Good chance to chip one in for Eagle. Ellison, he's certainly in that category of well over 300. Can he carry that left bunker? He can comfortably. Olsen's going to go ahead and play. He's got 75 metres to the pin. He can use this slope as a bit of a backstop. He's got a good lie in the rough. Nice shot behind the pin for Torbjorn. He's had a real poor day, but looking at this putt for Torbjorn Ollison, back down the slope, fraction from left to right, quite a makeable putt, just has to get a dead weight. Oh, you little beauty!
watch another European tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.